In a dark land upon a dark peak, a gateway to the evil netherworld stood in the form of a tree. Evil spirits used this gateway to enter into the realm of the living. Dark sorcerers sought the tree and fashioned it into a ship's figurehead. They mounted the gateway upon their vessel, the Black Viper, and ventured forth to spread evil to every shore of the Seven Seas. But their ill fate was met upon stormy waters, as though nature herself was protecting the world from the dark forces beyond the gateway, which even now plot to lure someone with a false promise of treasure, someone of flesh whose touch will bring their release. And I'm telling you, the map says the treasure's right here. <laughs> Where did you say you got this map? <laughs> Crazy Sahib's map in Moria. Crazy Sahib? The guy who'll stand on his head on a bed of nails to make a deal? The guy who gives away free candy bananas with every purchase? No, it must be a different Crazy Sahib. Sound familiar, Boo? <laughs> hey, uh, Boo, where'd you get the candied banana? <sighs> you guys should know better. I've planted the charges, Iago. <laughs> The next sand dune will save us a lot of digging. Blowing up the... If there's treasure in there, we'll know in a flash. I'm, I'm tired of your harebrained schemes. Here's that harebrained! You, Iago, read my lips. No more treasure hunts. Do you need some help? so sick of hairbrain treasure hunts, we'll just have to keep this baby to ourselves. Blow the shell, huh? Seems weird, but here it goes. <laughs> of course it would help if I had lips. Uh, here, you blow it. What? <laughs> relax. Skeletons are a good sign. Haven't you ever heard the old saying, a skeleton's visit is worth a king's ransom? <laughs> it's an old saying. Now, come on, it's all up to you. Don't blow it by not blowing it. <laughs> and a boy, we're gonna be rich! Come on, big breath, big breath, use those big ass lungs! <laughs> Maybe 
you're gonna need a bigger ape. So, I'll have to choose today to give up treasure hunting. You'll never do it. We're ruined. Wait, Al doesn't need to know that part. What if he thinks we're gonna say, rescue someone? I've got an idea. Me the candle. Ah! It. <laughs> oh, you? I am the ghost of a poor sailor, doomed when my ship went down in cursed waters. I'm sorry, but why come to me? Oh, woe is me! If only! No, it is too much to ask. What? What's too much to ask? We played him like a zither. If only someone from your living world could release me. Blow this at the ocean, and your way will uh, uh, be set in motion. <coughs> Skeletons are a bad omen. Haven't you heard the old saying? A skeleton visit can cost you a king's ransom? Yeah, that's the old, old saying. Well, somebody needs my help. I have to try. Blow this at the ocean, and your way will be set in motion. Wonder how? <gasps> <laughs> Thanks, Jeannie. Al, you are almost seafood. You sure we should go ahead? Jeannie, if this was just some treasure hunt, I'd say no, but that poor soul is counting on me. That's right, boys. This isn't just some treasure hunt. So let's move! Are you feeling okay, bird? Yeah, well, who knows? Maybe this ungrateful soul will give us a reward, huh? I hate to be down here when these walls come down. That's a lot of tonnage. We'd be crushed like, uh, easily crushed things. I'll hang on for this, just in case. Just relax, Chihuahua. The only danger's gonna be if Al finds out we're down here on a treasure hunt. What is this place? Looks like a graveyard for eels. Hey, I've heard about this place. Legend has it, the eel's graveyard marks a sunken ship. But it wasn't just any ship. There was something special about it. What was it? I know. Well, look it up. Undersea Almanac, eel edition. Let's see. Most large of the eels. If Jeannie finds out it's a treasure ship, will be sunk. So to speak. Credit dentist of the eels. Funeral home of the eels. Getting warm. Ah, here it is. Graveyard of the eels. Now, what's it say? Jeannie. That's on question! You look around outside! I'll search the ship! You know, smuggling!
five pounds, try to hold things like that. Yago, what's up? You've been acting strange lately. I'm act strange? Whatever do you mean? Ah, you have come. Uh, where are you? Over here, the figurehead. Hey, what's with the spirit? I thought we made that part up. Touch the figurehead, and the treasure shall be yours. Treasure? What treasure? The, he means, where is the treasure? You must release me first. Okay, fine. Then we get the treasure? Iago! Look, Hal, we were promised big treasure, so go and touch the figurehead like the guy says! We weren't promised any treasure. You weren't, we were. What are you talking about, Iago? We knew you wouldn't go for the gold, so we threw on a cloak and made up the rescue story. Then me and Abu, that is. You what? If you made up the story about the spirit, then who is this guy? Beats me! But there's one way to find out. Let the money flow, baby! Iago? Where am I? It's you! Yeah, yeah. Once again, I am a ghoul. It's free. And I owe it all to you, little living thing. You and my old friend, Aladdin. It's dark here. What's going on? Revenge, silly boy. Uh, I thought you should see what it's like in the netherworld. Maybe you'll think twice next time you decide to banish someone there. If there is a next time. Oh, man, this is bad. So, how's the weather been, fellas? <laughs> That sub-zero netherworld climate's bad for my lumbago, you know. Yes, I'm really looking forward to summer. Hmm, a plague of locusts might be nice in Agrabah this time of year. And an infestation of bloodworms will really liven my spirits. <laughs> Ow, poor kid. I had no idea. Why do you let me talk into these things? What are we gonna do? Reverse the spell! Make a ghoul touch the figurehead. Make him touch the figurehead. Oh, sure, piece of cake. Okay, okay, you're calling the shots. Wretched little creatures. You cannot contain the Duke of Decay. Oh, well, we tried and he got away. Okay, so maybe she has a Sunken ships, sunken ships. Ah, here it is. Sunken ships in the graveyard of the eels. Hmm, the only one listed is the Black Viper. The Black Viper's figurehead is a gateway to the netherworld that feeds on human victims. Under no circumstances should the figurehead be touched. <gasps> the Black Viper! <sighs> We've got to get out of here! Nice. You've devolved. Hey, okay, now what? Where'd everybody go? I've got to warn the guys. Better luck. You don't want to hurt us. We let you out, right? We're your friends. <laughs> friends? Let me introduce you to my friends. Gotta mention it. Hey, you guys must know Harold! Harold, our old buddy! The original dark sorcerers of the Black Viper, dedicated to bringing more humans to the netherworld. And more of you guys out here? They're good people. Wipeout. 
Next time I stay in the kiddie pool. <laughs> Guys, whatever you do, don't touch the figurehead. Genie? Al? He touched the figurehead. Well, basically, yes. Look, we gotta get Death's breath to touch it if we want to get Al back. Sorry, this is a living world. If you don't have a permit to ride, I'm gonna have to send you back. You can't send me back without a gateway. <laughs> friends are trapped for eternity with that dolt Aladdin. <laughs> well, I'm sure another gateway to the netherworld will open up in a thousand years or so. <laughs> I think this will be safer in orbit. Thanks, Genie. Don't mention it. So, got me going a little treasure hunt, eh, Iago? <clears throat> well, yeah, that place, there was no harm done, right? I mean, see how you made it back, okay? Oh, no harm done at all. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Hey, what happened? Everything was dark! <gasps> there must have been another gateway. Don't worry, Iago, we'll save you. Even if it takes years. <laughs> Watch out for those zombies. No. 